Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. After last episode's atrocities of trying to get the minigame and the items and all that horrible stuff, we're going to move on from Windfall Island and we're going to actually set sail. So I'm going to set my sail and you'll see there's an arrow there. That means that the wind is going strongest in that direction. So obviously it's wisest to go in the direction so the wind can carry you. On the directional pad, you can press up to see your sea chart. It will tell you where you are on the map, and this big blue circle is where we're headed to. So we're, we're not going to be going for a very long sail today. It's going to be about two squares to the east. And then this is our, I guess, quote-unquote world map. This is, we'll be going to every single square of the map in this game. So it looks big, but... Uh, we're going to just start small and focus on this island. And if we press right on there, we can see the time of day. So it's right in the middle of the daytime. Uh, it does change from day to night in this game, so keep that in mind as well. For the time being, we're not really going to stray off the path too much. We're basically just going to go straight towards our destination. There is a lot to see when you're out at sea. <laughs> um, and of course, I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. There are a lot of islands in this game that are not necessary to finish the game, but they do hold some secrets and things like that, so I'm going to try my best this time around uh, to get all those things, which is something I really didn't do as well on my last playthrough. So you'll s this is a, an example of just a small optional thing. You have enemies out here. And they're, they're just sitting here. They're not even here for any good reason. Um, and then if you want, you can collect... You can collect, like, joy pennant from those guys, obviously. Hit these pots for rupees or hearts or whatever it is, so... Something like that is completely random. You'll see that quite often, though. And then you'll see this big structure here. This obviously sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like a big tower. <clears throat> There's quite a few of these out at sea as well, and these are actually more important than anything else out in the ocean you'll see kind of randomly. Um, There's enemies up here, but a lot of these will also yield you with treasure chests and things like that, so I always try to go up and see what's up here as soon as I come up to one. If you miss one, you could miss lots of money or a treasure chest or something. Usually what happens is if you defeat all the enemies up here, uh, you'll get a chest. A chest will magically pop up. That's not always the case though. I think that's what you do for this one though, so let's try that. He's sleeping on the job. What a bum. Come here. Oh yeah, and then I can knock him off the edge too. I forgot about that. And there we go. That chest will pop up for doing that. So let's see what's in here. I think it's just rupees. Yeah, 20 rupees. But I'm broke, seeing as how I spent all my money on that game that was just awful. I'm so bad at that game. I just want to put it behind me and never think about it again. Uh, I can start filling up my wallet again. Because we're going to start spending our money now that we're, you know, going on new areas. There's going to be some stuff to buy later on, so. Okay. See, there's a ship in the distance. You'll see that ship uh, in the middle of the ocean as well as in a lot of towns that we go to. Or not, not really towns, but I should say islands we go to um, as well. So I'll go into that. I think I'm going to wait until we get to the next island to get into that shop. As you can see, also seagulls will follow you around. I guess maybe seagulls know that you're... Errol's brother or something, I mean, I have no idea how these things work, but... I love sailing in this game. It takes up so much time, though. Um, it's... Uh, some people consider it the biggest downfall of this game because you are sailing a lot, so get used to it. Um, enjoy the beautiful music that comes with sailing as well. I love it. There, on the horizon. 
that is our destination link that is dragon roost island and oh my god dragon roost island has my favorite music in this whole game hands down this is my favorite song <clears throat> i love dragon roost island high atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies a great dragon by the name of Lou. and that's who we need to talk to i guess you must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Alright, will do. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait, just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used a long time ago when the gods played, or when the people played music and prayer to the gods. Muff that up, something good. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. So he's gonna give us something that he doesn't even know if it works or not, but whatever. So if we don't touch the control stick, we can do three notes at one time. And then we do our notes using the C stick. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. So we can change, we have three different times. We've got 3 fourths, 4 fourths, and I think we have 6 fourths as well. So let's try this. It's a very, very simple instrument to use. That was not bad for your first time. Why, thank you. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time. Yeah, so you've got three different note sequences. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We just received our main item, I would say, in this game. We use this a whole hell of a lot. This is the Wind Waker. So it's... it's I like it. It's different than having an ocarina. But it is kind of the equivalent of an ocarina. You learn all your songs and you use the Wind Waker to play it, so... Important item number one. Uh, before I start hauling up this gigantic mountain, I'm actually gonna go straight through here. Let's see what the sign says. This is... We'll go to the Wind Shrine. That sounds, that sounds rather important, seeing as how we just got our Wind Waker. So, let's go over here. We're gonna pick up our first song. And the most important song of the game. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay, so you want to do this before you pretty much go anywhere. Because we'll need it. <clears throat> Shortly, and we'll also need it for the rest of the game. And this is a song you'll hear the most. Easy little tune to remember as well for a first song. Only three notes. This is the Winds. Oh, I can never pronounce this word. Winds Requiem. Yeah. Requiem. For some reason, my, my mouth just doesn't want to form those words. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Some random toad on a cloud just comes <laughs> creeping up on us. The name is Zephos. I am the god of winds. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. His little statue is obviously destroyed. His brother Cyclos is whipping up cyclones. Naughty naughty. If you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. I don't see how you're gonna you're giving me a request when we just met. But anyways, like you said, that controls the direction of the wind, which will obviously in turn change the direction of our sailing and all different sorts of really important stuff. So now we can start to begin our, our climb up in this place. We don't have bombs yet, so we're going to have to pick up these bombs. And luckily, we get the ability to pick up bombs right from the start. We don't have to get any special equipment for it or anything like that, so that's nice. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, no. Damn it. I think there's actually a bomb over here. I think I just wasted my time. Of course I did. 
that one's not necessary to destroy, but I don't think I'll destroy it anyways. Just for the sake of it. And these, of course, grow, grow back just like any other bomb flower does. Okay. But I think we do need to use that plant. Or is there more plants over here? Yes, there is. They're, they're pretty generous with the placing of these bombs. Because, I mean, you do have a limited amount of time before they explode. Alright, oh god, we only, we only have 65 rupees. I keep forgetting I spent them all, but I guess going from 0 to 65 in one episode is pretty good, I must say. Okay. Drop down and don't fall, there we go. Here and we're gonna create a shortcut. So by destroying the that rock and getting these blocks down here, we've just created a shortcut from where the King of Red Lions is right to the place we need to go. So excellent. One less climb for Link. And it looks like this is the Rito postman we saw earlier. Link? Link, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rita are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Alright, maybe getting this Din's Pearl isn't going to be as hard as we thought, because at least one of the postmen already kind of knows us in our situation, so I think we should take his advice and just mosey on over there and talk to their chief. We're talking to the big big head right as soon as we get here. No crap involved. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Baloo's anger? Uh-oh. Maybe... Maybe there is crap involved. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Which was Valu. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a reader reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings, which is a very, very wild and crazy concept. But I can see how that would be a problem. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledlings, who are of age, will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. Yeah, that is a problem. So he's got problems of his own, unfortunately. <clears throat> he can't help us at this time, so... Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Connolly? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Connolly would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. I think the actual pronunciation is... Um, Kamali, which I'll probably try to remember from now on. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? We don't have much of a choice, I suppose. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. 
I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Alright, so right away, just like in pretty much any Zelda game, Link is put to work right away solving everybody else's problems except for his own. But I guess we get a little bit of something out of it. We get what's called the delivery bag. And this is actually a very, very handy item. It holds items just like with our spoils bag. But it holds letters and stuff and mail and such like that. You should find Menly in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great blue to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Well, I will certainly try. So in the next episode of The Wind Waker, we're going to try and find Medley and we're going to try and hopefully help the Rito people along a little bit with their issues and then we'll see where we go from then. So thank you all so much for watching and I will hopefully see you all later.